So we're talking about the topic of boredom eating today. I put a little poll up in the group. I asked people, I gave them four choices, what they most wanted to hear about, emotional, how to overcome emotional eating, long-term weight loss, boredom eating, and what I eat. And everyone, most people said boredom eating, actually emotional eating, overcoming emotional eating, and boredom eating were both tied. So I wanted to touch on this topic of boredom eating because I keep seeing it over and over and I keep hearing it from my clients that I eat when I'm bored, right? And, and, and what I've learned to realize over the years in doing this work and in my own journey is that our relationship to boredom is, here's the thing, boredom is, is like, it's like a catch-all phrase, right? Or a catch-all word. Because ultimately there's something underneath the boredom, right? And, and usually what that feeling is, is loneliness. So, because we live in a world where we have so many things to do, but there's no reason why anyone should ever be bored, right? And living in a world where there's so much to do also creates a lot of disconnect, especially because there's so much social media now, people aren't connecting as much in person. You know, we're all, we all kind of have these electronics separating us now. Like even though we have Facebook and we can see what other people are doing, it's almost like, taking us out of our real lives, you know, cause we're looking at everyone else's life instead of like staying in our real, in our lives right now. And so, you know, when, when I was going through my journey with my eating and healing and all of that and how much, and I started to look at how much I would eat when I was bored, what I really discovered was that it was loneliness. I was lonely. I was eating because I was lonely. That was really the only reason. If you are living in this day and age and you're feeling bored on a regular basis, it's important for you to actually address that and really ask yourself like, what's going on underneath of that? And then do I need to make more friends? Do I need to get a hobby? Do I need to be creative? Do I need to read? Like, what is it? I feel like a lot of people have this kind of sense of dissatisfaction in them. And it's like this boredom and this feeling of like not being content. And so, then we go to food, we go to alcohol, we overeat, we do these things, we binge watch Netflix, we check out on our phones, right? And, and then we have a bunch of excuses like, I don't have time, I can't do that because I'm too busy, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I, I mean, I could probably ask any single one of you here to open up the settings on your phone, look at your screen time. <laughs> and some of you would be embarrassed to share it. So I usually track my screen time because I, I really wanna know, I, I'm really working hard on not spending time on my phone. And so I, I track my screen time. And um, the place I spend the most time is actually texting my clients. So I mean, messages, you know, in iPhone it's called messages, but that's, that's the place where I spend most of my time. And then the social media, it's actually like 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. So like even Facebook and Instagram, total of like 15 minutes a day. Um, and I do that on purpose, but even with all that, I'm still trying to have less interaction with my phone because it literally, for most people, has become an appendage. It's like we have another arm or a hand, another hand, right? Most people will never let it leave their sight or their bodies, which to me is a little scary. It's a little scary that we have this, this thing. I mean, it's like we're eventually gonna become robots. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other subject. Let's talk about boredom eating. But here's what I'm trying to say. It's like, I feel like a lot of us are feeling disconnect, we're feeling lonely, we're feeling we're feeling sad, we're depressed, we're like, we're not living our lives in the way that we wanna be. And so a lot of times we call that boredom. And, and again, what I believe is that if we were truly at peace with ourselves, we truly enjoyed being with ourselves, and we had things that, that felt nourishing to us that we were doing. Like for me, it's all about either being out in nature or doing something creative or spending time with my dog. I don't feel like any of us would ever feel bored if we were doing those nourishing things on a regular basis. And we would welcome in time of boredom actually, like real boredom. I was reading an article quite a while ago and it was saying how kids these days don't know how to be bored and it's actually gonna work against them eventually because they're not gonna ever learn how to just be and appreciate what's happening around them, right? Because we're all so in these electronics all the time and we're not being social, we're not connecting. I mean, kids now these days, they, they, talk, they, they talk through text 
and suicide among teenagers is rising. You guys, I've had three or four clients tell me that they know teenagers who have committed suicide in this last like six months. I mean, it's so scary what's going on out there, right? And, and here we are, you know, trying to find our way and food for a lot of us is the crutch that we use when we're feeling certain things that we don't want to face or deal with. And so boredom eating really is a byproduct, right? It's a form of emotional eating. It's a byproduct of something else going on. And so my encouragement to you is to, in, every time you hear yourself say I'm bored, ask yourself, what am I really feeling? What's really underneath that, right? Because boredom is just, like I said, it's just such a catch all phrase and it's a safe word because nobody really likes to admit that they're lonely or that they have nothing going on, right? Because then, then we look weak or we look sad or we look whatever, right? We have all judgment around that. No one really likes to ever admit that. But there's nothing wrong with admitting it. Nothing wrong with admitting it. Hi, Leah. Yes, all connection is so artificial. Yes, the team epidemic is so sad. It's so sad. I mean, I've heard more stories of suicide amongst, it, it's like this number of 14 year olds in the last, three or four months has just skyrocketed. And it's no mistake, you guys, it's all this social media bullshit. I'm sorry I'm saying bad words, but it's just how it is. And we can't ignore it anymore. We can't ignore it. So back to the boredom eating. Again, just a form of emotional eating. Just a form of emotional eating. Because boredom, again, is that catch-all phrase for something else going on. There's always something underneath. And so when you feel bored, I want you to ask yourself, what is really going on here? What am I really feeling? Because boredom is not a true feeling. It's just a catch all word, right? What am I really feeling here? For me, it was always lonely, always lonely. Like even, even these days now, I don't very, I, I, I have that feeling of boredom sometimes, but, and when I do, the first thing I think is like, oh, I haven't talked to my friend in a while. I need some connection or I need to connect to my creativity. That's one thing that like, if I've been missing that in my life, if I haven't been doing it regularly, I notice it so much. I notice it a lot when it's missing from my life. It's all like, oh, gotta get, gotta get all my coloring books, gotta get painting, gotta do something, right? So boredom again, catch all phrase, it's a form of emotional eating. What's underneath the boredom? That's your first step, right? And, and of course, when I work with my clients, I go so much deeper into this work around the emotional eating. The other cool thing is I am putting together this group of four women right now. We're starting on April 15th. I have one spot open. The reason why I'm doing this small group of four women is because people are needing connection. We're needing support. We're needing connection. We're all feeling so alone in our struggles, right? And this is not some curriculum led group. This is all about you and three other people. And so it's like four women coming together for a six month journey to really transform and live their life in the way they want to, right? So whether it's losing weight, getting rid of emotional eating, you know, realizing their dreams, whatever it is, I work so holistically. And so there's one spot left and I've been interviewing people and the three women I have in there, I'm so completely excited about because they're on a mission. They're on a mission to heal and to break free and to get out of this craziness with food and their bodies. And so if you're interested in that spot, put a little heart, comment with a little heart and we can get on a call and I can tell you all about it because it's just going to be phenomenal. It's the Empowered Eater Circle, four women going through six months with me personally, getting coaching from me personally. And, and then you have the support of each other. It's, it's just, I'm so beyond excited and I put it together because you guys keep telling me you want more connection, you feel alone, you feel isolated. And this is one of the ways that I've remedied that. So if it's something you're interested in, please let me know, put a little heart and I'll reach out and contact you. So first step, boredom eating, right? What am I really feeling? Ask yourself that. What am I really feeling? What's underneath the boredom? <laughs> because there's gonna always be something there. Boredom's not like a true feeling, it's a word we made up for like when we feel like we have nothing to do or we're tapping our toes, right? But like there's so much richness in that time. If you're sitting around and you feel like I need to be doing something, let yourself just be. There's so much richness in that, in being present and in looking around and observing. 
something I love to do is go out of the house without my phone and I just observe. I look at what other people are doing. I try to connect eye to eye. You know, I really make an intention to connect with people. That's so important and Brene Brown talks about this all the time. How important it is that we connect with others and we see other people's pain and we acknowledge them. So, boredom, you guys aren't allowed to use that word anymore. Sorry, you have to say what's really true, right? For me, it was all about loneliness. So I don't know what it is for you, but I want you to dig a little, a little bit deeper and really start to understand what's there. And if you want to take that further <laughs> and really learn how to heal that and learn how to transform that, that's what this Empowered Eater Circle is for, of course, and my one-on-one -on -one coaching, which goes really deep. And I really take you on a journey there as well, where you have me in your back pocket and I get to guide you through the whole thing. So if that's of something of interest to you, put a little heart in the comment section and I'll contact you and you can learn more about that. All right, you guys, that's my Food Freedom Friday. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. I'm Melissa Costello. Again, if you want to learn more about my Empowered Eater Circle, I have one spot open. We start on April 15th. If it feels like you're ready, you want to get support, you're ready to move forward, or you're just, you don't even have to be ready. All you have to do is be willing because I'll handle the rest for you. But like, could you imagine creating that sisterhood with three other women and going on a journey with them over six months and me guiding you? I mean, come on, it's like life changing. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but. <laughs> All right guys, have a great one. I'm Melissa Costello, I'll see you soon. Have an awesome weekend, bye.